Hello friends, if you are uh, having a retail business like a supermarket, grocery or such kind of any products, there is many number of products uh, we need to upload to this billing software. How we can upload those products via Excel sheet? That's the best solution what we can do. One by one adding the product is really a horrible job. So in order to uh, with consider those, uh, you know, uh, difficulties, there is we find a solution that just to fill all the product price, product name and the barcode details, selling price, everything you can fill it in the Excel sheet and you can upload it to this billing software. For example, you have uh, 10,000 products or 15,000 products, so it does not matter because this software is using with uh, running with uh, you know SQL database. So many number of products you can upload this one and in this video tutorial I will show you how to upload all these products via Excel sheet. For uploading the products via Excel sheet there is very simple task we will show you how to upload those things. So first of all the templates from where we can download. In the Rainduck POS billing software there is import export button you can find there is a product. Click on the product button in the right side top corner, there is a download sample format. Just click on that. The sample format will be downloaded and it will be saved in your desktop. This is that format, the template. And you can see first product ID and uh, ID. How we can find out the next product ID. So now he will. Uh, now here we can see there is only one product is added. So further, we will add from number 2, 3, 4 like that. So, how many products is there from there we will continue the next. So, number 2, number 3 such kind of numbers we will keep on add. And you can see, click on here and just drag it down. See like that. Simply drag it down till the bottom. You can see this one. Here also 1 and 2 you can see over here just drag it down. Simple way you can enter the numbers up to the bottom. The next line is you can see the product uh, uh, name. Product name, name as per your shop, what are the product is there. For example, shampoo, pen, pencil, whatever it is. The next is uh, subcategory ID. How you can find it? Subcategory ID. For finding the subcategory ID, in the master entry, you can see that there is a category and a subcategory. First of all, we will create a new category. Any new category you can uh, create over here like uh, grocery, yeah, uh, food items, such kind of main category you can create over here. And next thing, thing is that in the um, master under itself, there is a subcategory. You can see there is a subcategory. Click on that subcategory and see here uh, just number one only category is there. So we can add another category over here. See, click on uh, any... Uh, something like that as you wish you can uh, type it over there uh, yeah packed items for example packed items i just typed and i selected uh, see grocery the category which i created right now i selected like that and i save it now you can directly see that there is an id new id created number two that is corresponding to this uh, packed foods okay so uh, just click on here and uh, whatever the packed items you can uh, uh, mentioned there see two 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 like that see now you can see uh, there is a you know this is uh, related to packed items and this green color items it is not compulsory it's not mandatory if you want you can fill it or no like that here there is a purchase price and sale price you can mention directly what price you purchased what price you sailed so you are going to sell and there is a discount option of, of course it is there directly you can fill it and there is a CGST, SGST and distress option is there of course. For example some product tax is 12% you can mention like that 6, 6 uh, like that you can drag it also see drag it down like that. For example, some other food product item, there is a 2.5% GST, a 5% GST is there. So in that case, uh, CGST 2.5, SGST 2.5. This is the way you can uh, see, drag it down. Very simple way, easiest way you can uh, handle this one. And here, and it says as per your state requirement, uh, you can fill it up 
or maybe there is no stress there is some stress one person day like that he receive the wholesale price and uh, he can fill it wholesale price if you are selling otherwise put any numbers and here you can see there is a units you can mention and there is a conversion value of course it is there conversion value for you know uh, there is a packed item uh, one box there is a ton piece and then a unit conversion technology so this one i will make a separate video how it will work unit conversion system so currently you can mention one yani one uh, like one one numbers you can mention over here and the current uh, you know minimum stock ma um, value you can mention over here for example i mentioned three over here so what is three what is if i mentioned five what is five so for example i have the c opening stock is thousand pieces each when i sell one by one by one by one by one when it reaches to three pieces the software will give alert now here see you can change the opening stock quantity also means currently in your shop how much uh, stock is there yeah, that you can mention over here that's this is the way as you wish and here the minimum stock also you can change as you wish in that minimum stock when it's reached to that minimum stock software will give alert see this product is going to finish you can reorder see here this is the green color uh, boxes you have you can find it's not compulsory and barcode see there is a barcode uh, i put it uh, continuous numbers 1002 1003 like that but in such cases uh, you have uh, you know uh, some products already have barcode you can replace those number with you know those barcodes there is no issues basically see i put it a continuous number yani you can also make this kind of continuous number and you can create your own uh, barcode here see i am just scanning one product through with uh, barcode scanner so directly any product if there is a uh, by default company barcode is there that you can scan it and save it over there in the software directly while you are selling you can uh, scan that particular product and you can sell like that see the number uh, make it little bit more bigger and uh, hide to these two numbers khalas so this is the way you can add your you know some products if you have barcodes like that see i put it uh, and rename the uh, product name also book notebook see this is the way we can do it very simple way and there is a default quantity is there what is default quantity default quantity means some for example some uh, garments basically it is using garments shirt piece and uh, you know such, such kind of clothes there is you know cut pieces is there the cut pieces may not be in actual uh, you know meter it is for example 1.9 meter example i mentioned over here uh i mentioned here sale price for 1 meter what is the sale price for example uh, i mentioned here uh, 100 rupees per meter so 1.9 meter when i am uh, selling you know here i am mentioning 1.9 okay the default quantity when i scan this particular barcode the quantity will not come 1 it will automatically will come 1.9 this is a technology what we implemented here see i am mentioning the retail price 100 rupees purchase price whatever it is you can mention over there there is no issues just i mentioned 100 rupees so when you are scanning and selling this particular product it will not uh, come in one piece and 100 rupees it will come uh, yani 1.9 meter and what is the, that that's the thing yeah. and 190 rupees it will come i will show you when uh, i'll upload the sales see here i will check the meter what is the unit what we mentioned for the uh, meter what is the spelling exactly same spelling you mentioned over here mtr 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 see mtr mtr means meter the short form uh, all the units we already uploaded in the arrange pos billing software no need to create another uh, units all the universal unit uh, will be uh, added over there see the opening stock quantity also mentioned over here see the default quantity you can see over here this is the barcode code 1 Triple zero four. Uh, you can create you, if uh, after upload these products, you can create even barcode as well. There is no issues. Here you can uh, mention this IMEA numbers if you if you are dealing with the uh, mobile phones and all. And there is a common mistakes what we are doing. See unnecessary something. For example, there is uh, uh, some numbers we mentioned like that. We uh, uh, put some uh, boxes in blank. Uh, see this is all wrong uh, things what we are doing basically. for example some categories we are uh, not mentioning for example this box purchase prices we are uh, putting it blank and uh, this is this is all uh, not uh, you know correct way in the billing software see 
when uh, in this scenario when we are going to upload it will not work basically this uh, mistake all the boxes should be properly filled and this bottom uh, uh, any anyway, whatever the unnecessary things we made it we should remove it for example we are trying to upload these things what is going to happen let's see what is going to happen just i am uh, importing this one and selecting that uh, product wow see the uh, excel sheet is open uh, you should close the excel sheet before uploading these products so just import it and uh, select that uh, excel sheet format and i'm trying to save it see cell is blank found because we done um, wonderfully we done some mistakes to understand the you know situation so uh, again we are opening the excel sheet over here and uh, we will uh, correct it properly for example i fill it some uh, uh, product name over here and uh, see shampoo i just mentioned over here and here put some uh, you know purchase price and all and here this is a blank uh, you know cat subcategory provision I, I filled it out and this all unnecessary things just remove it select all this like like that right click on that and delete it the unnecessary columns everything should be clearly perfectly uh, yani uh, cut it that's the best thing just go there uh, save button uh, close it and we will go to the Rendec POS billing software. There is import export products. Go to the products Excel sheet, click on that and select this uh, product. Open it here. You can open the product list. All these products you can import very directly. It's very easiest way you can import it. Just click on save button, click on save button. Immediately, you will find out that the successfully it is saved in the software. So it's a very easy technology to add, uh, upload the product in the Rainnet PO is willing software. Even you have 2,000, 5,000 products or 10,000 products, whatever it is, you can upload in very simple way. And you can go to the stock. Here you can mention, see this one, stock and all. You can, you know, uh, uh, see all the current stock, what we uploaded right now, including your, you know, quantity available. You can see over here how much quantity you uh, uploaded per each piece. So you can find it over here. For example, see this book uh, but this is what all we uploaded right now uh, through excel sheets very easiest way you can uh, upload this one now let's see see this uh, price of uh, you know sh uh, short piece and see the barcode one triple zero four and and uh, per meter is 100 rupees let let me go to the sale panel to do the sale and i will show you how this uh, system is working basically so i uh, click on uh, b2c any counter sale I just type manually this barcode one triple zero four and enter. You can find it that there is see hundred rupees rate and you see that one ninety rupees. The quantity of course it is come one point nine. This is the default quantity speciality basically in the billing software. You can see this bill preview also. See this one bill template how the bill is generating like that. See. MRP, I just mentioned like that before, something wrong in MRP. But see the sale rate and the 100 rupees, uh, you can find it over here. Thank you so much for watching this video. For any inquiry, any doubts or clarification, you can call us 0091807831945 or 0091860609310. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you. Bye-bye.